let's go ahead and do x, y. Um, now the last one, ladies and gentlemen, is let's say I ask you to do a rotation. Is that, where'd your notes go? Did you lose your notes? Oh, OK. So now let's go ahead and go over a rotation of 270 degrees. And this will be the last one in the counterclockwise direction. So ladies and gentlemen, we talked about Q prime. That was a 90 degree rotation about our fixed point at the origin. Q double prime was a reflection of 180 degrees. Camille, you can flip that over. Flip it 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 over. Thank you. Very good. Um, now let's go and look at it at 270 degrees. All right. So the transformation for 270 degrees is now we flip the y and the x, but now we're going to take the negative value of the x. Remember, for 90 degrees, for 90 degrees we took the opposite value of the y, correct? And, but now, for 270 degrees, we're taking the opposite value of x. For 180, we just took the opposite values of both of them and didn't swap them, correct? So now, let's go and take a look at this, what this would be. So if I have q, which is negative 4, 1, and I, now I'm going to rotate it to q triple prime, because this is going to be the third, way, third time I'm going to transform this. This is now going to be 1, 4. Okay. So what I'll do now, Kaylee, is I'll go ahead and write this over. So I'll go over 1, up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And we'll call that Q triple prime, because this is my third rotation. So that is how you do a rotation 270 degrees counterclockwise. All right, now, well, see, here's the thing. Um, actually, let me get to a point. Right. So let me let me go over something with you, really.